Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. It is 33 degrees at 9.29 a.m. Light snow falling outside, a little wind blowing. Some city chickens on the wire. Looks like there's about four of them out there. Sammy's here trying to figure out what he wants to do. It looks like he's going back in the house. Elsa and Mikey are inside the house banging around, and Maxie's outside, and I am your host, Buck Kamal. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm still kind of like a quarter of the way into the dream world. My bed was warm and comfy. I felt fairly rested, but I just didn't want to get out of bed. So there it is. What's new there, huh? Now it's just so nice and warm to lay there and relax. And feel relaxed and not being in pain. That's a good thing, I think, isn't it? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I get big ideas about going for bike rides. And then I get up and just remember what it's like out there. And Not that I couldn't, but... Because uh, I did do some biking yesterday. Nothing major. Went and got some cat litter and some household things, you know, and dish soap and things like that. And rode my Detroit bike doing that, four or five miles. But uh, I'm talking about, you know, getting out in the sunshine and riding a bike wearing shorts, you know, and T-shirts and not having to have jackets and sweaters and stuff on. I'm looking forward to those days. And are they going to be f soon this year? Or is there going to be a regular spring like uh, I envision spring to be, or are we going to have another brutal, cold, never-ending winter? There goes the city chickens, and a spring that finally arrives in June. You know, life happens out there, you know, despite what uh, we want it to be happening. The, the, the buds do start happening on the trees, and the leaves start coming out. Grass turning green, snow melting before that, all that good stuff. Birds being born and hear the the growing chorus of birds out there, the different variety of birds that are coming back from wherever they go for the winter. Yeah, so where was all that leading to? But like last year, normally my apple trees bloom first and then after that the lilacs, well, and then the, the apple trees usually bloom in the... Uh, May, mid-May. This Last year they didn't bloom till the first week of June, if that tells you anything about how much the weather varied from usual, you know. Whatever the norm is. Oh, there's some ducks coming in. Well, they decided not to come in. Oh, there's some more. Mackie must be out there. Mackie must be out there scaring them away. Why else would they refuse that delicious corn? I don't know if it's delicious, but it must be to them. There they go. Look at them go. Well, hopefully they'll be back. Anyway, we're going to pause. Hopefully hang out here with some loves. Look at them go. There were some cardinals singing out there. Oh, look at and Sammy's back. Come on, Sam. Come on up. Look at that, Sammy. Look at that, Sammy. <laughs> what a beautiful soul he is. He is. He is a truly beautiful soul. He's got uckies on his eyes. we got to clean off. Hey, but you're a beautiful soul, and I love you. And I know you love me. Oh, look at all the ducks coming by. What's scaring them off, though? Must be Mackie. We don't know. We're going to pause. Look who's decided to come in. Sammy's checking. Come on in, Maxie. Come on, did you have a good adventure? Don't spill the coffee, okay? Good boy. That goes his buddy. All right, now maybe them ducks will come back. We'll find out, won't we? Well, no sign of the ducks returning, but the city chickens are starting to gather more and more. Oh, there's three or four on the service line, and it looks like there's about, oh, ten or so, maybe a little more, maybe eleven or twelve up on the main line. 
Oh, baby, boy. Yesterday, I think I mentioned I was going to possibly order some new wheels for my Kona Cross bike, and I went online to see, uh, check out some ones I had looked at last fall, and they have the front one, but they're currently out of stock in the rear one, so I am hoping they're going to get the rear one back, because they look like some pretty good wheels for the price and for what I need, and yeah, um, sealed bearings, yeah. I want to get riding my cross bike. I have thought I've had thoughts of getting a different frame and stripping every off, everything off of it and putting it on that other bike, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, oh boy, that was one thing we did yesterday. We hung with Mikey in the afternoon, and I don't know. The part of me that wants to get out and do stuff today. Maybe ride to Meyer and pick up a couple of groceries. I don't know. It looks out the window and goes, yeah, you know, it's nice and warm sitting here. There's nothing wrong with that. But yet there is, you know, getting out and getting active is, and getting some fresh air in these lungs and this body is just so, so good for me. And especially, you know, working as I do with the public and everything that they're carrying into the store. I am somewhat, I guess, maybe paranoid about catching some kind of disease. Is the cor coronavirus something real to be feared, or is it just all hype like a lot of other things? And I'm of the mind that it is, you know, every year we get Ebola, SARS, whatever, they come up with some swine flu, this, that, and the other thing, and it all ends up being some people dying unfortunately and a lot getting sick but it never is what they say it's going to be here comes a couple of ducks and this this new flu appears to be different and is it just going to start slowly slowly uh taking people out and then reach that critic point of critical mass where it's wiping out hundreds of thousands of people we just don't know and the way the news you know, you get the news you get from whoever. It's so hard to believe anything anymore for me. I just don't know. But I just know I deal with a lot of people that have uh, real bad hygiene habits. And, you know, they'll cough in your face and cough all the time or sneeze while they're handing you money and not cover their mouths. And ugh, I just hate thinking about it. So anyway, back to the ducks. I mean, we're all doomed anyway, as I've said before. We're all going to be a meal for somebody. That corn's a meal for them ducks. That corn came up from a live plant that was growing. Them ducks, who knows who they're going to be a meal for. I know unless we get cremated, unless you have your body cremated, you're going to have all kinds of microscopic little critters sucking the marrow out of your bones and making a feast of the gray matter in your brain, you know. It's, they're going to be lined up like people at a smorgasbord or a buffet, just chowing down until there's nothing left with you. And if you happen to croak outside, you know, the coyotes might get you, a stray dog might come and piss on you, the crows or vultures will eat your eyes out, who knows. But something's going to eat you sooner or later. Isn't that a happy, cheery thought first thing in this morning? Hey, we're back again. In an update, there's still two ducks out there. Snow's still falling. I believe there are 15 city chickens out there now. I think there are 10 on the service line and 4 on the main line. Now one more has moved down from the main line. Two more, three more. So it looks like something might be happening out there. Maxi uh, joined me out here. He's looking out the window, sitting on his bench. Who knows what he sees. I saw Mr. Squirrel, Mr. Uh, Gray Squirrel, flitting around out on the sidewalk on the neighbor's side of the street, neighbor Bob's. Look at Mackie. Come on up and see me, buddy. Come on. This is our time, isn't it? Mackie has coffee with me in the morning. We hang out here. This is our time together. So anyway... I don't know if I mentioned this a while ago, but 
Last fall, I applied for a job, a cooking job at the hospital, and I finally, about a month ago, received an email saying I didn't get it. So, I don't know why that just popped into my cabeza, but it did. So, I guess that's all we have right now. Oh, is your nose getting any better? So, hey, it's Wonderful Wednesday. Enjoy this day and the time with the ones you're with. Thanks for not tuning into the Least Watch Show on YouTube.